And good afternoon, everyone. Today we're a bit late. We are finally in Dipkarpa's village, the most remote village as you look east in the tip of the Karpas Peninsula. I am in the village center now. We're late because we were hitching and no local car stopped to pick us up, but we were lucky to be picked by a London SIP that was in the area visiting his mother. So here you are, more adventures to come. We have no idea about what we're gonna do today. We haven't seen anyone from the municipality yet, but we are trying to discover a village center on our own. Now I'm gonna show you, you can see behind me the church. Hold on, I'll switch the camera. So yes, this is the church in Dipkarpa's village. It's under restoration, as you can see. So sadly, I won't be able to visit. This is the village center marked by an Ataturk statue, as in most places. Police station is a bit further up the road. Some coffee shops, some restaurants here. Me and my son, are set in the Greek Cypriot coffee shop that I am going to show you in a second. So village center, again the church, sadly under restoration, a shop running on solar. So even the people in Deep Karpaz know the meaning of green energies. Next to the church, almost next door, is the mosque. Another row of shops, and this is the Greek coffee shop we're sat in. They have all sorts of entertainment, as you can see. Here are our bags, the rucksacks with the walking sticks, our table. And here we are in the Greek coffee shop in Deep Karpas village. That's my son. All over the place as usual. He likes playing with this car. What happened? <laughs> Okay, so now we've got the calling to the prayer, so I'm going to end, but I'm going to just show you around the Greek coffee shop in the village. A pool table and a view from the balcony. So I repeat, we're in Deep Karpas village, the last village in the Karpas Peninsula. We have no clue of what we're going to do today, but it doesn't matter. That's the spirit of adventure. So we'll see you next in another video. Take care.